Okay, so with all the interest in the hologram chroma console and the previous videos I did playing in my stereo pedal board that I set up with it, I thought I would make a video showing all my presets, just, just going through all the presets. However, it didn't turn out to be as easy as I thought. This is the third version I've done. Um, the first one I thought I could run you know, a simple loop, a stereo loop through it. That wasn't that effective. It just, the loop got so mangled by the different presets that I had made. It, it, it was just mush. And then I did another one trying to do a simple loop through it with just a guitar part, but it kind of sucked because the guitar part sucked. So now I've done a slightly less sucky loop of me just doing some, you know, like singing Ebo stuff on my lap steel. Nothing fancy, pretty crappy actually, but it's just a simple like singing long note, like sort of violin-esque parts, which I thought would show off the Chrome console better, just stepping through the presets. Now, something I learned, which was very interesting was Originally, I wanted to run the Chroma console, you know, straight through the board and I just shut everything else off. But when I shut off the ghost pedal, the level of one side of the stereo image went way down. Now, it wasn't the ghost pedal, it turned out. Just in short, it was the lossy. Why? Well, you might run into this from time to time, so this might be useful before I show you the demonstration. Some pedal builders aren't necessarily paying, I don't want to be cruel because I love these guys, but they're not considering phase when they're making stereo pedals. Or more succinctly, their idea of phase for their pedal doesn't match the other ones you might be using in a stereo setup. This is a key thing. So the phase on the, this is just my guess, but I, I've heard other people saying the same thing before. They're like, oh, why does the volume drop? Why do I lose so much bass when I'm running in stereo? Phase. Now, is it the lossy? I think it's the lossy, but because I don't think it's the ghost because it got corrected when I turned the ghost on again. But I don't want the ghost on when we're doing this demonstration. So apparently the phase relationship on the stereo out is not the same, even though I'm running stereo into the lossy and stereo out of the lossy into the ghost. They're not the same between the Chroma console, the lossy, and the ghost. There's some disparity there. So therefore, it was a good thing to learn. Therefore, I'm running straight out of the Chroma console for this experiment, okay? So I'm just gonna switch through the Chroma console with my crappy little loop um, and with the disaster area micro the micro DMC, which will automatically go to the next preset. You don't have to double click. You don't have to hold or nothing. You're in live mode. It goes right to it as long as you have PC messages sent with the disaster area. That's why I love this thing. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, that's why I wanted to set it up. Let me know if you like this and I'll do some more stuff. If you have any questions. Let me know at the end, all right? And I will be holding up my hand, giving signals one, two, three, et cetera, for the presets. So as the presets are going, you know, you'll see my hand. This is 10, <laughs> duh. All right, let's go. All right, so here's my crappy loop.
right, so there you have it. As you can see by switching with the Disaster Area DMC Micro, it automatically goes to the next patch, which is really cool. So you can go from preset to preset and not have to do that much dancing. You'll notice that I had my mix most of the time at around 40%, at around 11 o'clock. That's where I find it works for me for the presets and patches that I've created because it can be quite invasive with all the different things going on. Like when you see the blinking lights that I've written into some gesture movements and you heard that in certain presets, some more than others. And with the gesture movements, and by the way, the secondary functions, there are secondary levels, secondary functions. You really got to dig deep into those and that will affect everything as well. So the way that I set it up works best for me to have like around 40% blend because I want some of my dry signal and then all the rest of that going on. But I think it sounds really good in stereo. It sounds even better with a reverb after it. I don't really care for the reverb so much in it. They're not bad. They're just not my thing. Um, when I owned the Microcosm, it really wasn't my thing for the Microcosm. I would always use a different reverb after. So, but what it does do with so much going on, it's fantastic. And I keep the blend where it is, and now I can switch the presets. And as, as someone asked where I keep it in the chain, well, okay, so what I do is I like to have my bass sound. My bass sound would be the mini red snapper from Menatone, kind of like an AC30-ish, but very low gain, very, very moderate, just for a little chime and crunch. And then that goes into the syntax era, which has four presets that I use, and you can switch the presets by going through here. And I consider that part of the gain or a filter, and then into the Chroma console, then the lossy, then the ghost. I also have another overdrive if I want to get heavier overdrive first, and I would just add that to this, or if I wanted a medium overdrive, I would turn this off and turn that on. And that's it. Like, that's the compact unit. Um, I hope that was useful. Those are my presets. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it if it works, if those sounds work within your playing context, and if you can fit it on your board. Having the switcher makes a huge difference because the protocol for their switching, which is the long press switching and then another long press to initialize is nonsense. If you ask me, no, no, you know, I'll do respect. <laughs> it's just insane. So this works way better. So this compact little thing is great for stereo. But again, watch your phase. Watch your phase. All right. Peace out.